Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Ant Pruitt and I just wanted to do a quick short ish video. Um, basically just showing how I process some footage that I shot with the Panasonic Lumitz S5 full frame mirrorless camera. That's a mouthful, but it's, it's, it's a pretty nice camera. I think it's, I think it's slightly underrated. I think it's slightly overpriced, just slightly. Um, but no, nah, maybe it's not overpriced now because it just had a major up, uh, firmware upgrade today too. So maybe not overpriced, but, um, yeah, I had to review that camera for, for work recently. I'll put a video card link right there to go watch it for work. Please go watch it and support my video and support my work. Thank you very much. It was for hands on tech at twit. Um, so I'm not going to get into all the details here, but the main thing is I shot this bit of a cinematic sequence for my, my boys just goofing off, um, shot it in 1080p, um, high frame rate, like 180 frames a second. So I can get some slow-mo Then I also shot it in, um, 4k HLG HDR. Um, and it's actually 10 bit 4k HDR. So it was a lot of data to play with. So I put a lot of the different footage together just to make this sequence and I'll play the sequence at the end of this video, but I'll also put a link to it up there too. Just so, just in case you want to see it without watching me talk through how to process this piece of footage. So let's go ahead and hop into premiere pro and take a look at the footage. Okay, so here it is inside of Premiere Pro, and actually, I'm going to mute the audio track, the soundtrack, because it's not necessary at this moment. Um, so, if I go back over here, hit play, and you'll see I have a couple different layers here. I have an adjustment layer, and then these other two video layers here, they are um, just different video clips. and basically i wanted to make something where it would look like my son both of my sons were coming in to just start training start practicing so shot this first bit in slow-mo but remember when you're shooting in slow-mo have your frame rate really really high like 120 if you can 120 or higher frames per second but have your subject matter move just as they normally would and you'll slow it down in post so tell them like at this instance here, I had him walking. I didn't want him to change his gait, just walk normally. And then we can slow it down in post. Now with this camera, I didn't have to slow it down in post. It had already slowed it down to 60 frames per second after I recorded it uh, at 180. So of course, when I put it in this timeline, it just plays this slow, smooth footage. Now, when you look at recording in vlog because i did record in vlog you get this flat profile for your footage and this is what it originally looked like it's sort of washed out and not much contrast to it if i pan through it like this here you see that and see this piece was all in 4k i just had to resize it to get it down to fit into this uh timeline because i put it in a 1080 timeline and then i later upscaled it to 4k on export um, but yeah it's, it's pretty flat and so what I do typically is put an adjustment layer on and within that adjustment layer I do a lot of the basic stuff from a color correct color correction standpoint or I'll go in and add what's called a LUT and this one in particular is one of my favorite ones LUT LUT lookup table it's basically a filter for your video this one is called gold rush H HDR and it looks pretty good for this particular scene and it sets the mood, but I've got a bunch of them in here. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch in there <laughs> and you can get a, get a bunch of free LUTs too. So just look up LUTs for Premiere Pro and check out what you can find. But anyway, I went with this gold rush HDR and if I turn it back on, it gives you a lot more contrast and it just sort of sets the mood. Now, the only problem is sometimes your footage is not going to match up when the light is changing. So your exposure may be off and things like that. See, if you look at this, this clip here, it, it looks like I have the LUT applied. But if you look at this clip, because it was a different time 
um, the sun was starting to set a little bit more, so the lighting changed, so it looks different. And fortunately, there's a nice cool trick inside of Premiere Pro where you can do a comparison view right here on the screen. You get this view of, of a reference frame, and you say, I want to match that reference frame. So I want this footage here to look like that footage from a color cast standpoint. So you just make sure that segment is clicked. Click on this comparison view, click on apply match. And it's going to think doing all of this fancy AI stuff and it'll fix the colors for you automatically without having to manually go in and adjust these color wheels and things like that. So I went through and did that on a couple of different segments that needed the actual correction and was pretty much good to go. But that's it. It's pretty easy. I have a playlist for people trying to get started with Premiere Pro that will walk through some of these different steps in here. But this was a lot of fun to play around with <clears throat> the high dynamic range and vlog footage because you had so much more flexibility. The footage didn't break down, get noisy and grainy. Just, oh, it was a dream. It was a dream. So that is it. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you watch said footage. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment below. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you sharing. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. All that good stuff. And uh, yeah, check out the review. It's available on um, Twit TV. And also thank you to Adorama, Adorama.com. Um, they sent this to me and, you know, allowed me to play with it. And I got to send it back here soon. So, but yeah, thank you, Adorama. Check them out. Use my affiliation, antpruitt.com slash Adorama. Shop there for all of your photography and creativity needs and gear and stuff. Okay, I'm out of here. Y'all take it easy. Create and dominate. Here's the video.